So this project is to write a tessellation creator using our graphics library. And this video is to show a little demonstration of what the final pro uh, product should look like. Um, so the, the program when run will ask us uh, for the size of the plane that we'll tessellate into. And so we can pick any dimension and it should work with um, really any reasonable dimensions. Um, I'm gonna pick something kind of big and square like, so 600 by 600. And then it prompts with a menu. Um, it hasn't displayed any drawing windows yet. It's gonna ask me what I would like to draw. And so this project is really based around functions and the menu kind of exposes access to each of those functions. Um, so the end result is uh, something that will fully um, tile the plane entirely with a shape. So this option 11 tiles hexagons. And so we can select the length of the long diagonal. So maybe I'll pick something like 100, and then it will pop open a window and tile the plane completely with random colored hexagons, each of which has a long diagonal of 100. And it started them at sort of a random location and tiled it completely. If I um, wanted to close the window, I'd click on it, and then it would prompt me with the menu again and ask me what I wanted to draw next. And so I could tile uh, rings, option 10. And I could give the radius of the ring to say 50. And every ring is going to be uh, have a randomly sized border of a random color. So the radius of each of these rings is 50 pixels. And again, I could click on this to close it, and I could tile something else, like uh, squares. I could give a side length of 40, and it would tile the plane fully with squares. And if I were to uh, notice here, the squares kind of started halfway, but is otherwise sort of flush with the x-axis, that is random. That is random. If I were to uh, close this and ask it to, again, tessellate squares of side length 40, we would get a slightly different starting um, position. And I could do it again, 940, and it is slightly different. It, is, it might be hard to notice. 940, there's more apparent that it started in a different place. Um, and the individual drawing functions are exposed as well. So if I just wanted to draw one square, it would ask me where I wanted to draw it. I could say I'd like it to be um, at uh, 0, 100, and side length uh, 200. So it gives me sort of one big square of a random color. Uh, starting here, the upper left corner at 0, 100 x0, y100, um, with side length 200. Remember, my window is uh, 600 by 600, so this is about a third of the window that it's taking up the width. And again, I can click on this to close it, um, and it'll bring me back to the menu. Now I can also, in the end result, in the final version of this, um, use words to select what I'd like to do. So I could say, uh, row squares, or row square. And it is essentially selected option five. And I could say, uh, where do I want to begin my square of rows? Or, or um, tell me the um, fixed location of one of those squares, and I'll build my row around that. So I'll say, OK, I'd like one square to be exactly at 100, 100 and I'd like them to be of side length 50. So one of these squares starts in the upper left corner of 100, 100, and I built my row around that. Um, I could also have said uh, square row, just as a bag of words, and it also would have selected the same option. Uh, again, um, I could say I'd like this to be at 200 
uh, 300 of side length uh, 50. And that's kind of started it down here where one of these squares is, has their upper left corner at 200, 300. Um, if I put in something that uh, isn't in my options, like if I put um, uh, ring ring, it tells me that's an invalid choice and to try again. If I just typed ring, that would be a valid choice. It would be the same as option two, which draws a single ring. So I put the x value of the center as like 100, the y value 200, the radius, I'll say 60, the ring width, I'll say 30, and it drew a ring whose center is at 100, 200, the radius of which is 60, and the width is 30. It's a random color. Um, or I could say uh, tile octagon and that would be the same as selecting option 12 and it wants to know the length of the long diagonal I'll say 50 and it fills the screen with a random tiling of this octagon the octagon has a little square border around it so that it offsets so that the negative space this white space is another octagon this is the tiling that I um, designed for it to create that fills the plane with these colored octagons and these white octagons. And I make sure that the squares between them is a random color but uniform throughout. If I input a value that's out of bounds, like uh, 14, it says invalid choice try again or some words that are out of bounds like uh, clear or pizza um, or if I say um, tile square pizza it recognizes that you know, pizza doesn't belong in that um, and if I want to cause the program to exit I can just type Q or quit and everything is case insensitive and that's it that's a preview of sort of how this uh, program generally works, where it keeps prompting and prompting and prompting and analyzing what we're telling it to do and then getting parameters and then drawing those by calling the respective functions.